Hi YouTube, today we are going to be making some dough slime and so it's not really slime, it's kind of like dough and inside it's very gooey, it's gooey, so that's why it's called slime, so slime dough. So this is what it looks like, it's very squishy and so let's get straight on to this video. Okay, so what you're going to need is a bowl. And you're going to need some napkins. You're going to need a napkin right here. And a napkin right here. Like that. It doesn't really matter how you put it, but yeah, okay. And then you're going to need some soap. Like a cleaning soap like we do with the dishes. Or, and then... You're going to need some water. I don't really have that much water because you don't really need that much water. And then the most messy part of all is flour. Okay, so first, so let's get started. So what you're going to do is add some soap. Do not add too much or else it would be like, you don't want to make it too big, so only add just a tiny bit like like that much and so pop the bubble okay and so next thing you're going to do is and i have a spoon and a fork you don't really have to but this fork wait yeah the fork is to mix it that's what i use and the spoon is for the flour and then what you're going to do next is add a tiny bit of water, an insy bitsy tiny. And so before you pour in the water, if you want to do food coloring, you may do that. Now, let me hurry and clean this off because I'm going to Okay, there we go. And then we're going to stir it up just a tiny bit of food coloring. So you just keep on stirring it. Okay. You only stir it up a little bit. Now here comes the messy part. Oh my. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to obviously open this up. And then you're going to add a spoonful. Like about that much. And you're going to pour it in here. And then you're going to mix it up and if you're using like a spoon or fork or something to stir it use the ends and then you just like stir it. you keep on stirring it and you start turning into this as you can see there's really not that much Okay, so there's that. Now what you're just going to do is you're going to keep on adding some flour. Now, since you're just going to add tiny bits, so right now you're going to start adding that. And put that on and keep on stirring it. And then it's... And then... Um, yeah, and then, and then this is what it's turned into into so like that so now i'm not going to add any more dough if you use that much then you're not going to if you use a lot then you're going to need to keep on adding okay now what you're going to do is pour some more if you're done but do not mix it so you're going to add like about this much pour it on top and then I'm gonna add just a tiny bit more and that's and then you're gonna leave that there and then you are going to put on the napkin some flour so you want to be this is a part where you want to be careful so put some flour that so this is what I did, I'll go. There we go. 
So there it is, and then with your hand, you're gonna grab it just a little piece, and then you're going to go like this with your hand. You're going to just like make it in a circle and then put it together. And you're going to put it on the dough and just, I mean, on the flower, not the dough. And you're going to just do that because you do not want it to be all sticky to your hands and okay, okay. That, that was tiny so now you leave that aside and let's grab a bigger piece this time like this big of a piece and now you just make a ball like we did last time and then So basically what I do is I put it on a spot and then I mix it around and then do it that again. Like that. Now let's add the little piece that we just did. Well, if you did that. And so just mix it up. And this is what it started to turn into. And so if you did a big piece here, you just, you don't change anything. You do the exact same thing, except for you add more power, you just add more um, sugar because you did a big piece. But if you did a little piece like mine, like from the soap, then you do that. Okay, and so I'll be right back when it is done. Okay, so this is how it turned out. It's quite small, but as you can see, if you leave a little bit of flour on, it barely even gets on your hands. See, like, I love some flour on. And so, it looks like just dough, but if you, like, go into it, it's all gooey. And so that's why it's, I just called it slime dough. And so, yeah, and so if you enjoy watching this video, please read the sign. And so, I hope you'll try this out and you can even do it with following, like, just copying, like, following while you're watching this. And so, bye! Try this out if you were interested. Bye!